This is a brief video tutorial to show you how to allow for a document like a PDF or a Word document or a PowerPoint document uh, to open up in what is called an inline preview. Now, the benefit of this is it allows it, 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 it keeps the file directly on the Canvas tool but allows it to be visual so students don't have to, unless they want to, click on the file and then download it and then open it up on their computer screen. They see everything directly right here on the Canvas page. Uh, so let me show you how to do that. Uh, so I've created an assignment here. Um, I would give my instructions here, like reading the PDF pages carefully. You will have the option to download the PDF and see the PDF directly on this assignment. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor where I want it to go. I'm going to come over here to, in my rich content editor, um, I'm going to go here and I'm going to uh, insert a document. Now keep in mind, this will work on any Canvas content building tool, like pages, assignments, quizzes, discussions, because that, that, you'll have this option no matter. So you can do this on any of those tools. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to say upload document and then I'm going to find my document. Um, so in this case, it's on my desktop. So I'm going to click this. It is a PDF and then I'm going to upload it. Now, when, when I upload it, it's going to come, it's going to look like a link. Okay. But I think that the link itself um, to me is um, not very, um, uh, not very, user friendly for the students. Um, and what I mean by that is, is if I save my assignment now, all the students will see here is a link, okay? But here's the added step. They click on it, they download it, they've got to open it up in a PDF, and now they're dealing with two separate screens, okay? But the way to fix that is to do this open in an inline in preview, okay? So I'm gonna go back here to edit. Now I'm gonna take my cursor, and I'm going to put it in front, and then I'm going to highlight the file name. And I'm going to choose Options here. And then I'm going to automatically click Automatically Open and Inline Preview. Okay. It will only it will only preview this in a saved environment. Okay. So right now I do it. You don't see it, right? You just see the the link. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to hit Save, and then you'll see that it will open up in an inline preview. And keep in mind, please, that the, it, the bigger the file, uh, the longer it may take to open up, okay? Um, so you can see here, uh, it does still give the student the option to, um, uh, to download if they choose to, and, but also to get, keep it visual here. Um, so I hope that helps um, as uh, creating an assignment or page or discussion where you are uploading a file that you wanted to open in an inline preview. All right, let me know if you have any questions.